Hello. In this presentation, we will formulate a brown soup recipe. Uh, some people will say transparent soup, but technically, a transparent soup is any soup that, uh, as in, you can read a 14 type character through it. Uh, these, most of the soups in the market does not actually meet that requirement. So we want to keep it simple and just say a translucent soap instead of using the word transparent as in light can go through it. We'll be using palm stirring and uh, PKO. But uh, if you can use beef tallow, I think beef tallow is very good for this recipe. Just that it's scarce in our location and we cannot start rendering all the beef tallow we need. So we'll go for the next best alternative, which is palm stirring. If you look up the fatty acid profile of palm stirring and PKO, you see that they complement each other. We'll use the stirring at 70% and PKO at 30%. The 30% PKO is uh, kind of low, but we used it at 30 simply because we have... Uh, other adjutants as inside which will actually contribute to the uh, ladder the bubbly ladder of the soap the total volume of our soap will share we will use the ratio of 60 40 that is 60 percent solvent and 40 percent oil that is the Palm stirring and PKO will miss will be forty percent of our total volume. Then any solvents we are going to use, they are all going to be sixty percent of it. We will use uh, sugar as well, and we'll be using the sugar at twelve percent of our actual soap volume. Um, that is actual soap volume now, meaning that the amount of oil and caustic together that's a total actual soap volume the solvents they will evaporate and so we use our sugar 12 percent of that we are using it at 12 percent because uh, we are not going to use glycerin we find that sugar actually does better at this translucency or transparency thing than glycerin so we don't see why we should uh, increase cost at the end of the day we'll be using a uh, steric acid that is to control the excessive lie at the end of the production though alternatively we we'll found a way where you can use uh, the palm stirring instead of caustic um steric acid because uh, steric acid is kind of adding cost we'll use palm stirring at 200 2800 grams pku at 1200 grams caustic soda at 1000 grams the water for the caustic soda will be 200 uh, 2800 grams the ectanol at 2000 grams sugar at 600 grams then the water for the sugar will keep it at 1200 grams first you mix your water and ectanol now uh, i think we should do a little explanation here why we are missing water and ectanol the ectanol it's there to break the soap granules most persons will add it after a trace it's good it's very okay because we don't want to use plenty of ectanol, so the way to control the volume of ectanol that will break the soap granules. So it's better we add it to the water from the very start. After that, we we'll add the caustic soda to it and wait for it to dissolve. Then we we'll allow it to cool to about 48 degrees Celsius. Then we we'll mix the fats and the oil together and heat it to 48 degrees celsius palm stirring will melt at 48 degrees then we'll remove it from the heat source and add both together while stirring 
when you as, uh, achieve your trace, you seal the container and put it on a double boiler for about 45 minutes. So while waiting for the 45 minutes reaction time, you can prepare your sugar solution and just keep it to cool down a little. After that 45 minutes, you are going to have a clear solution. So you add your sugar to it and cook, cover and cook for another 10 minutes. At the end of the 10 minutes, you will just scoop a little of the solution so that you can test the pH. As in, you test for SS light so that we can correct it. You don't want to send it out like that. So definitely, you are going to have uh, an SS of light lying around, floating around there. So what you do is you can, I said, you can use steric acid. You can still use this palm stirring. So let's assume you are using steric acid. All you do is you melt the steric acid and you add gradually. You add, cook it for some time and test again. You can add fragrance and uh, additional colorants but it's not called for because at this stage the soap will already be brown so but some persons may want to add additional colorant to it or they want to change it to another color or something